Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Sketchup Bytes, and today we're going to be talking about how you can bring in materials and textures from 3D Warehouse without actually having to download the Sketchup model into your file. You most likely are already familiar with bringing in images as textures by going through File and then Import in pointing towards all supported image types and finding that image uh, file on your machine and bringing them in as an image or texture file, right? That's pretty straightforward. Uh, and we'll do some other videos related to that in the future. But today, what we want to do is we want to go into 3D Warehouse. And I'm going to maximize the screen here. And inside of 3D Warehouse, I'm going to look for carpet. Carpet. And here, I'm going to look for carpet models. And I'm going to sort these models by popularity as opposed to relevance. So I find the most popular models in 3D Warehouse that uh, have the carpet tag um, assigned to it. And I see this model over here. I really like the uh, you know, texture on that carpet. So I'm going to click on that, um, uh, that file. And rather than having to download that model with the chairs and the table um, you know, and the carpet, um, you can if you want to. But if you don't want to download all that geometry directly into your Sketchup file, what you want to do is you want to click on See More Details. And once you click on it, under Model Info, you will see seven materials in this model. And when I click on that flyout over here, that's where I see the texture that has been applied to that carpet. And that's the texture that I want to apply to the um, you know, model in my Sketchup file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Download here. And you'll notice that the cursor has changed to a paint bucket tool. And you will also notice that now that material has been brought in and exists in the in-home or in-model um, option under the materials tray, right? Now that it's already there, I'm going to apply it to that surface. And you'll notice that it's been tiled because that texture, the size of the texture, doesn't exactly match with the size of the carpet that I have in my model. And that's an easy fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that surface. And notice I'm not selecting the edges. Uh, I'm simply uh, single clicking on the surface and selecting that surface and right clicking on that surface. And what that does is it, the texture menu shows up. Had I highlighted all the edges as well and right clicked on, um, on, on, the, on the selection, this texture menu would not show up. And that's the reason why I only want to single click on the surface where that texture is and right click on it and then under texture, position it, right? And I see these white pins show up. And sometimes you might not see this show up. You might see different colors uh, for these pins. If I were to right click on it and click on fixed pins, that's what you might see sometimes. Uh, and that's perfectly fine as well. In this case, we just want to stretch this texture out so it stretches all to these uh, stretches to these corners over here. So what I want to do is I'm going to again right click on these colorful pins and detoggle that fixed pins option, right? So that I can click on a pin and drag it all the way to the edge over there. I'm gonna do the same thing with that pin, click and drag, snap it to that corner. And there's one more pin remaining to snap to a corner. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click and drag and snap to it. I already see that this pin is snapped to that corner. Now at this point, all I need to do is right click again and be done with that particular action, right? And I already have that carpet texture properly placed on that particular plane. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Um, please let me know if there's any other videos you want to see in regards to materials and textures, and I'll be sure to produce them for you. Thank you.